Hey guys, Rodriguez Art here. Today I'm going to be doing an uh, art tutorial. Today is going to be how to draw an eye tutorial. I've seen that this is pretty popular on YouTube, so I decided to try it. Um, this first part in the video is going to be uh, on paper. I know some of you guys don't have uh, digital art equipment. So this first part is going to be on paper and some simple eyes and some of my favorites. And then in a little bit later in the video, I'm going to be going into Photoshop to show you some more eyes and my own personal style. So make sure to go down, give this video a big thumbs up, and comment down below what you want to see me do next. Now that we got that through, let's start the video. Let's talk about the first eye for a second. First up, this first eye here, and uh, this eye is definitely more masculine out of these three over here. Um, it's not too intense, it's more of a normal eye, um, kind of a more generic character, but it can be, I do like this eye, it's a nice style, and, um, it's a little different, so, let's start drawing it. Pretty simple for this eye, you want to start with a white line that's slanted upwards. You want to make it nice and thick. Once you do that, right on the right edge of that. You want to start making your way down and curving inwards a bit. Next, a little lower than the end of that line, you want to make a straight line parallel to that first one. Once you're done with that, we can thicken these lines up a little bit. If you go a little bit inwards of that first line, you can make up like that. Make a triangle and then Color in. And then go some more taking this one up. There you go. Next for the for the actual part of the eye, you want to make a big oval right over here. That's gonna just barely touch that bottom line that we made. And meet up with that end right there. Next, you want to make another one that's inside, just a bit smaller. With this eye, we're going to have two highlights. One on the top left corner, another on the bottom right. And then a pupil in the middle. Once you're done with that, I see I made a little bit of a mistake here. You might want to bring this out a little bit more. And leave more space in between this line over here that makes this line weight and the actual eye over here. After you're done with that, we can go into the eyebrow. You want to make a pretty standard eyebrow. You're going to be parallel to this line at first, going a bit higher, and then make an arch. And then you can just color this in. And if you want, you can kind of do it in small strokes to give it more of a bushy, more realistic eyebrow. Once you add all these strokes, erase just at the top to make it look a little cleaner and get rid of that first line. And then whenever you go a little bit out of the area that you actually want the eyebrow to be, just erase it. Then it will all stay clean. And that is the first eye. Let's go into the next one. Alright, so the next eye is definitely more feminine. Actually, the next two eyes are a little bit more feminine. Um, this one's actually one of my favorite eyes that I, that I like to draw. And I use it on my female characters. So, let's get started. To start, you want to make that top line. And you want to 
make this little bump over here and then dip and then come up a little bit and this will make that first taper part once you do that you can make the next one you start the next one right right at the highest point of this arch once you do that you can start to make your way down over here make a sort of diagonal line going inwards and then a straight line horizontally going to the left once you're done with that you can make a big highlight right over here in the center of our first line and make a line coming down right through the middle make another line right where that where that top tapered edge starts and then from the highlight make an, a dip that goes to that other line that we made and then just fill it in and I think this is one of the more simpler eyes and it's pretty elegant as well make the eyebrow make the same sort of shape that we did before but this is definitely since this is more of a female eye uh, it's definitely a lot more subtle and the eyebrow is a lot thinner there you go and now that we have that middle eye we can go into the last eye all right so we are at the last eye I actually use to use this eye mostly on my mate on my female characters I'm not really sure why I, I just liked the big high I've always liked highlights in my in my characters especially females I always felt that it made it more feminine and more um I don't know cute in a way and so I guess I kind of like that it was a big eye but I've kind of moved on more to this but um, on very small much smaller proportion but this eye is still um I still do like it and it does have that little eyelash at these two eyelashes at the end and um let's get started this one is quite different you're gonna instead of making uh an arch line or uh, a bump and dip or like dipping um this is gonna be a pretty simple and almost square like eye which is what makes it quite different you're gonna be this first line is going to be quite similar to this one, only this eyelash is going to be a little bit less exaggerated. As well as this one. As you can see, although it is quite similar to the shape of this one, it is not entirely the same. Now, we make a line where the bottom of the eye will be, and then from each side, we move in making a sort of round square shape you want to be kind of light here and then you can start to go darker and just face up the lines and next to make the actual eye it's gonna go in and make a semicircle and this eye is quite big Make a highlight in the Ready? top left. Make a highlight in the top left corner, as well as a very small highlight, very close to the pupil. So make the pu I guess make the pupil first, and then a small highlight to the right. And then color in the pupil. And I'm going to fix this eye real quick and I'll be back shortly. Alright, I'm back. I just uh, shortened that bottom part quite a bit. And now we can just go on to the eyebrow, which is even more simple than the other one. Just make this sort of arch like shape. It's not so much like this, where with this one it was quite, it was a little bit more constructed. It was go up and then. A slight descendants 
where this one is more just of a straight straightforward arch and with that I have finished the traditional part or the paper version of the eye tutorial be stay tuned and I will be switching over into Photoshop to show you a more digital version um, I hope you guys liked this first part and I'll be in Photoshop right all right, so we have reached the technical portion of the video. I'm going to be showing you guys some different ways to draw eyes in Photoshop. Those of you who may do digital art and traditional art may feel that it's different um, when drawing, when drawing, basically. Some of you that are both digital and traditional artists might feel that um, it's a bit different to draw on different platforms so um this is some way that i draw eyes and some tips i do that may may make it a little easier the first way is a more masculine eye that uh can be seen as more intense the second one can give more of a curious vibe and it's definitely more feminine and round and the last way is my own way um a way that i draw eyes a lot when i'm doing digital art and um i usually use it when i'm doing a lot of people and it's very easy to draw it's very fast to draw and um, it just makes it easier for myself but keep in mind that that is my own way uh, if you don't like it that way then that's perfectly fine and I am also still developing my style so this isn't um, the final version of my style but with that let's get started with the first eye so as you can see in the first eye there's a lot of uh, intense components first of all the whole eye in general is very small and uh, and narrow so we definitely want to carry that over and also um, the eyebrow is very uh, thin although it is getting uh, a bit thicker towards the uh, towards the end it definitely um, definitely is quite narrow and uh, has a masculine appearance so let's start drawing the eye the first thing you want to do is you want to make the top line of the eye so it's going to be a slight slant upwards like that and then on this left side you're going to start curving your way down and make sure that you're not making it too you'll see what i mean in a second i'm trying to go to the right as much as possible so that the eye can still be quite narrow when we're done with it but as you can see here I made it quite too narrow and that will make the eye look quite weird and sloppy so you kind of want to find that perfect point this looks about right and make another bottom line right in the middle of that first line that we made a thing that I like to use is to use my ellipse tool right over here make a small ellipse and then just move it right around there and that way I can use the edge of the ellipse to make the inner part of the eye like that and just press ctrl D to get rid of the ellipse and there you go another thing that I like to mention is that this eye is supposed to be pretty sharp so even though that that length was quite all right you still want to make it look intense now that we're done with that main part we can go more in depth with the eye now using by uh depending on the size of the pupil you can make it look quite different the picture i first saw was more of just a straight line that makes it look very serious very intense almost not even human like and then a couple of variations from there still having that kind of pointed edge but definitely a lot bigger and then just a more round and not as intense and I'm actually gonna go with that look right there and you can basically and judging by the pupil size you can um, you can emit these different sort of situations and emotions and then as a final thing you can add some lines like this right on the eye the last thing that we have to do with this eye is make the eyebrow more towards the right it's going to be a lot thinner 
and then it's going to start to make its way up. You want to make everything nice and smooth. It's going to go up kind of like that. And you can add some more depth into the left part of the eyebrow. And there you go. And if this looks a little too high for you, you can always use your lasso tool to go around a portion of it and change it a little bit. And just like that, we have recreated that first eye. Apply transformation. Press Control D. And now we can go on to the next eye. All right, so as you can see, this eye is definitely a lot more different than that first one. This is going to be a lot more round, and um, and it kind of gives out this curi curious uh, vibe, and it's definitely a lot different from that first eye. This is more of a feminine sort of style eye, and definitely looks cute on a female character. And we can start off with the eye. This eye is going to be pretty simple. You just want to make a big curl or a big C, I guess you can say. Just like that. You're almost going to make it three quarters of an actual circle. There you go. You can actually erase this part a little bit because you're going to make this line separate. And then in the middle of this all, of all this, you're going to make your eye and with this eye the highlight is more of an oval instead of a circle so you want to make it a little bit like that and it has a very small pupil to add more to this line over here we can thicken this side up a little bit as well and as you can see this eye looks a little bit out of place so we can Make this a little bigger. Move it around a little bit. And we can even move around this line as well. Since it looks a little bit, a little bit too big for the eye. As you can see, that fixes up a little bit. And then as far as the eyebrow goes, a very simple line would do. We can make it run off a little bit and I'll move this eyebrow. And there you go. As you can see, it looks pretty similar to the first one and it has a lot of the aspects that are the same. And with that, we can start off with my eye. All right, so we're looking at my eye now, and I know you might not like it, and if you want to skip this part of the video, that is totally fine, but um, this is my style, and I'm going to be showing you a lot of my style, and the style I'm trying to develop. This is my, the eye I usually draw when I'm in, when I'm using Photoshop, but when I'm, as you can see in the traditional part, um, I use more of an anime-esque eye. And the reason that is I, I've watched a lot of anime, or not a lot of anime, but um, but I've watched anime before and I've kind of been influenced by that and I use more of an anime-esque eye. But while I'm in Photoshop, I use um, this sort of eye and I'm not really sure how to describe it. It's very, very different, I would say. And if you saw my Tradigital su submission video, you would see that I use this eye with all my characters and basically it actually looks quite normal. This part, I mean, it has some normal components of an eye. This will be the highlight. This I color black and then this will be an eye color that I, that I want. So blue, green, anything really. And then a really narrow um, eyebrow. But as you probably saw in the traditional part, um, I use more when I'm drawing on paper I use more of a kind of more realistic eyebrow using 
making the individual hairs. But since I am still trying to get comfortable with Photoshop, I'm using more of a simplistic eyebrow like the one um, in the female eye. So with all that said, I can get into drawing my eye. Alright, so my eye is quite simple. Um, the general shape of the eye itself is more, is kind of a diamond. So you want to make this diamond shape, start from the top. There you go. And it can be very rough. Let's clean up a little bit there. There you go. And then I kind of try fitting a small circle that is kind of is behind this diamond shape. And you'll see what I mean. So I'm making the sides and I might even add a little bit on the top and bottom. And that's pretty much the circle. And these parts on the ends will be white, these sort of triangle pieces. And I'll add my simplistic eyebrow as well as a big highlight. I'm a fan of really big highlights. I mean, it's not that big, but still. And I'll make this sort of dip for the eye color. And there you go. And that way I have um, a, a lot of this black color here, but I can also add whatever color I want here for the eyes. And there you go guys, there are three types of eyes that you might want to use in your drawings. They were quite different from the first, from the example drawings. But the main thing to keep in mind is that you can use some of these components from the different eyes so that you can make your own eyes and your own designs. And um, if you're even inspired by my small kind of undeveloped eye, I mean if you like it, that's great. But you should try making your own style. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Anyway, guys, that wraps up the technical portion of today's video. I hope you guys liked both the traditional and techno technical portions of the video. Today has been how to draw eyes, three different eyes that you might be able to use in your drawings, both in traditional drawings and digital drawings. Hopefully, this video was helpful. Maybe you can use some of the... the the components of these eyes to make your own eyes and your own creations i hope maybe you were inspired by my eye my simple eye right there but anyway that's gonna wrap up today's video i hope you guys liked it i've been on gg's eye don't forget to rate comment and subscribe leave a like down below and comment down below what you want to see me do next with that i've been on Rodriguez art and i'm signing off